And some terrifying hours for a Wichita woman who couldn't get in touch with her son and his family who live on Maui. It was 24 hours before she could finally talk to them on the phone. Cakes Leon Purvis is here with that story. Leon. David, Deb, Gary Bell says he was trying to reach his mother here in Wichita, but he had no power and no cell service. When he finally got through, he had quite a story to tell. The, the area that's burned down is the, the historic downtown district. Um, so it would be kind of like Old Town in Wichita. Um, so just imagine something like that and, um, you know, that it's just all gone. We talked to Gary Bell by phone because of limited internet service. He lives near these wildfires in Lahaina. He, his wife, and two kids lost power at 5 Tuesday morning and wondered why. We drove into town late Tuesday evening and we saw a big dark cloud in Lahaina town. And the, uh, some people were blocking off the roads and they, we turned back around and go to our house. This is what he saw, massive plumes of smoke and wildfires spreading across the western part of the island. When he got home, he realized he couldn't get in touch with his family here in Kansas. And all he could do was hope everyone on the island was okay. Just doing roll calls, just, hey, have you seen this person? Hey, have you heard from this person? We're still doing that today. We've found most of the people that we know. Uh, but we still are hearing really drastic storms. Bell says what he's seen is devastating, the loss of property and lives. Now he's just hoping the island will recover as he and his family wait for their power to be restored. We're, we're kind of waiting to see if the power might be back in the next week or two. If it is, we can probably wait that out. If it's longer than that, we ha I have a, a, a three-year-old and an 18-month-old. So. If the power is out for too long, Bell says he would have to come back to Wichita for a bit. He finally did get in touch with his mom here in Kansas, and she was for sure relieved. Bell went on to say they have no way to get any news except through radio reports. Live in studio, Leon Purvis, Kick News on your side.